Hey, I'm Gwen Bowie, and I would like to talk to you about test taking tips. Why? Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> Seriously, I've been teaching CISP since 2003. I really do like this stuff. So first test taking tip is about um, just some basic logic on how to answer questions. You can use the question to help you find the answer. I know that sounds silly, but that's how you use the question is where the secret lies. The first test taking tip is what kind of question is this? So use confidentiality, integrity, and availability to analyze the question. If it's a confidentiality question, you need a confidentiality answer. If it's an integrity question, integrity answer. Availability, you need an availability answer. Sounds too simple, right? It really can help make things a little bit easier. So let's look at a very particular question, shall we? So when looking at the question, what you want to do is figure out, is the question confidentiality, integrity, or availability? Then look at the answers and determine the same thing. Just based on that, you might be able to throw out one, two, or even three of the answers to help you find the best answer there is. So here's your question. The best way to ensure a database maintains the user entered values over time is, and then you've got four options. But the first question is, what, what type of question is this? Now, it's not a confidentiality question. That would be something like protected from privacy or confidentiality or disclosure or something like that. It's not an availability question. Well, maintains the user, uh, almost sounds availability, but maintaining the user entered values. So whatever they typed into the database, that's what we need to maintain over time. From a security perspective, I don't care what phone number they type into a phone number field, but I do need to make sure whatever they typed in stays there, that it doesn't change over time just randomly, which databases have done on occasion over history. All right, so it is an integrity question, not availability or confidentiality. Then what we can do is look at each of the answers. Now I like to work from D up. It's a way to trick your brain into actually paying attention. So the first one, fault tolerance. Fault tolerance is making sure that it's going to be there if there's a failure, so that's an availability answer. Clustering, that's two servers working together, or a variety of other things, but two servers working together so that if one fails, the other one will continue to be there and take up the full load of the, of the request from the customers. So that is also availability. AES, that's encryption. Encryption, it's a symmetric encryption algorithm. Uh, symmetric encryption means that we're protecting the confidentiality of the data. There is no other choice when it comes to symmetric encryption. Hashing, that is an integrity check. Integrity checks could be hashing, MD, um, so algorithms MD5, SHA-1, 2, 3, things like that. Hey, wait, that's an integrity answer. If we look at the question again, the question was an integrity question. Answer D is availability. Answer C is availability. Answer B is confidentiality. A is integrity. A has to be the right answer. Whether you like it or not is almost irrelevant. It's an integrity question. You have to have an integrity answer. So there you go. There's test taking tip number one. Come back again for more later. If you like this and want to see more content from me, hit that follow button. Thank you.